hello welcome to this video today we're going to be evaluating so mainly we've gotten questions from past papers which deal with evaluating so the first one is evaluate a to the power 2 over 3 so this can be re-expressed as 8 to the power 1 over 3 to the power 2 which is the same as that so furthermore we can see that this expression 1 over 3 is the same as the third root or the cube root of 8. So the cube root, we write it as this. So we say 3. Everything must be raised to the power 2. Furthermore, we look for a number that will multiply itself 3 times to get 8. So which number is that? It's 2. So we we'll say 2 to the power 2. There we go. So we found the cube root of 8, which is 2, raising it to the power 2. Hence, 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4. Second question which says evaluate 5 to the power 0 plus 5 to the power 1. We always must know that any number a to the power 0 must be equal to 1. So any number raised to the power 0 despite its way or something like that is always giving us 1. So 5 to the power 0 is 1. So plus any number raised to the power 5 to the power 1 must be the number itself. So 5 to the power 1 gives us the number itself which is 5, giving us 5. Therefore, 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. Furthermore, we're going to evaluate this question, which says 27 to the power 2 over 3. So we express this. So 27 to the power 1 over 3, everything in brackets, to the power 2. So it's been expressed. This means we need to find the cube root of 27. So cube root is expressed as, as that. Then everything must be raised to the power 2. We must not forget the power there. And then we'll look for a number that multiplies itself 3 times to give us 27. So this gives us 3. So the cube root of 27 is actually 3. So 3 will be raised to the power 2. Hence giving us 9. We'll move on to the next question. So knowing that we're from doing a similar question which says which had a power of zero and we stated that anything or any number raised to the power zero is one. But in this case, we've been given a letter or a variable which is x. But we must put into mind that although it's a variable x, it's still, and it's raised to the power zero, it's still going to, be, it, to still give us one. So we know that x to the power zero is equal to one. So one. Everything, whether y, whether z raised to the power 0, will always give us 1 times, so we're multiplying by 2 to the power 3. 2 to the power 3 is 8. So 8, 1 times 8 is equal to 8. Go. Here's another question which has been expressed in this way. So in the actual sense, this question would have been or can be put as uh, 81 to the power 3 over 4. That's how it can be expressed. Hence, you're expressing it as 81 to the power 1 over 4, everything raised to the power 3. And how they went back to that is a case where this, is, this means the fourth root. So the fourth root is expressed as that, and 81 there, everything raised to the power 3, and we've gone back to the equation. So in this case, they've told us to find the fourth root. The fourth root of 81, meaning we're looking for a, question, uh, a number, that when you multiply by itself, 4 times will give us 81. And in this case, the number is 3. Because 3 by 3 is 9. 9 by 3 is 27. And 27 by 3 is 81. So in this case, it's, the answer is 3. That's the fourth root of 81. So 3 to the power 3. There you go. And then the answer will be 3 to the power 3 is 27. So furthermore, we're going to this question, which says evaluate 3 to the power 0 multiplied, multiplied by 3 to, to the power 3 plus 3 to the power 1. So in this case, we've gotten similar questions, hence uh, applying what we've learned in the other questions. So we say 3 to the power 0, any number raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. So we'll bring down 1 there and then multiplied by 3 to the power 3 is 27. 27. So 3 is multiplying by itself 
3 times giving us 27 plus any number as we said in the other question earlier on we say 3 to the power 1 or any number raised to the power 1 is actually the number itself so in that case we had a 5 in this case we have a 3 so we we'll bring down the 3 itself so we get 3 there and then 1 multiplied by 27 so in this case we will use the bid mass meaning bracket of indices division multiplication addition and subtraction so we'll start with multiplication so 1 multiplied by 27 is 27 plus 3 we'll go to addition now so 27 plus 3 gives us 30 and then we'll go to the other question which says neg evaluate negative 1 to the power 0 times 2 to the power 3 any number whether negative positive a variable non-variable anything raised to the power 0 is 1 in this case we have negative 1 so what are we saying we're saying negative 1 raised to the power 0 is 1 a positive 1 in all in all cases so in this case negative 1 to the power 0 is 1 I hope we're getting it clear and then multiplied by 2 to the power 3 meaning we're multiplying 2 um, by itself three times so 2 to the power 2 is 4 2 to the power 3 is 8 so 8 there and then the answer is equal to 8 similar to the other question that we did earlier thank you very much for watching this video and if you found this video productive you can like share and subscribe and if you have any questions you can drop them in the comment section and we'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you very much